hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me ivana brooke and i am back with a new video i thought i would sit down and do a quick review for you guys because listen to these just empty i have tried three kate somerville cleansers almost to completion all of them and i have my thoughts all the way together so i'm going to rank them from best to worst and i'm going to start with the best it's so funny because someone recently um was like is this a sponsored video to my delicate one and i was just like no 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 like really like go look at the exfoliate one and then you'll understand i am not sponsored um but yeah this is the delicate soothing cleanser this is baby i love this cleanser even even it's the most empty of them all and i still try to sometimes like squeeze a little bit out it's so good this is the only one that i would actually repurchase because it's it's amazing it's so soothing it it does everything you need it to do it cleanses your skin leaves it soft fresh plump hydrated it takes off your eye makeup without it like getting in your eyes or anything like that it's 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 such a good cleanser and it's so 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 i wouldn't say underrated but it's kind of like this is this is called a stress skin saver but really it's it's so much more than that like it just keeps your skin balanced it keeps acne away like that my skin was at the, its best this summer when i was using this so mm. I'm so sad that I don't have any more of this, but this is definitely the very best one. I think it's good for all skin types. I have oily skin, and it worked amazing for me. I have oily, acne-prone skin, and it still worked amazing for me because the more and more I um, have recurring acne, the more I realize I just need moisturize. When in doubt, moisturize um, because to my next one, actually, no. I don't know. These are kind of like the same to me like they're not the same as in they are the same product but they're on the same level of how much i have like like give shits about if that makes sense like <clears throat> so the exfoliate cleanser is the one i tried after the delicate and i think this is kind of what effed me <laughs> if i'm being honest i just think it's a bit too strong for am and pm use using this twice a day for however long i used it i think just wasn't right for my skin i think it definitely took a toll on my moisture barrier and made my skin even more acne prone um i think it's nice i just don't think it's good for every day that's really it like i don't think it's a bad cleanser but i think it does promote over exfoliation because it does tell you to use it morning and night and it's just it's just it's just a little too harsh in my opinion um other than that it's nice as long as you're careful with your exfoliation as long as you have something else in the routine like the delicate and you're not using this every single day morning and night i think it'll be fine but i just i think it just the directions should not be morning and night and then last one i tried this is the eradicate daily foaming cleanser this is probably the one i had the most hopes for of course because i got this in about of being like about a, a, during a, a time when i had really really bad acne and i still am struggling with it and it just it didn't do what i needed it to do to be honest i think it's too harsh for acne um it has a three percent sulfur which is supposed to prevent um blemishes and draw out impurities i think the entire like okay i've tried two things from the eradicate line let me back it up let me slow my roll so i also tried the foaming mask which i'll review in a separate video but i just i think if anything this is good for like yeah drawing out impurities it's good for purging but it's not really going to do anything for your acne um as far as treating it so for that i just found that a little bit misleading and it also smells so bad like this is just it smells like sulfur of course because there's sulfur in it but it just lingers like no other and it, it gets on your clothes you just smell like it all day so i'm just i just don't really think it's worth the money these do retail for i believe 36 to 38 dollars each just under 40 dollars for four fluid ounces so you're paying literally ten dollars for each fluid ounce so if there's one of them that's worth it it's definitely the delicate the other ones i would just be more wary of and wouldn't 
wouldn't really use as directed because I do think they are a bit too strong um, for most skin types because I have elephant skin usually it takes like like nothing can penetrate it but this these got me I'm gonna be honest they got me so um, I'll probably definitely be getting the delicate again in the future but as for the other ones I don't think they're worth your money and I hope you guys enjoyed this review I want to make it nice and quick and I will see you in my next video if you like this one don't forget to leave it a like if you like me don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more of me you can always check me out on my Instagram Yvonne Brooke bye